What is up Sagittarius? We're going to be doing your weekly reading for July 20th to the 26th. This is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. Go ahead, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign, Venus and Jupiter. Jupiter as well if it floats your boat okay I'm gonna start you guys off with beautiful creatures past present future spread this is the second edition so it has the gilded edges and then we'll do clarifiers with which is tarot all the tarot decks I use will be linked down below in the description box as well as my website so if you'd like to book a personal reading I do 30 minute and 60 minute readings either live or recorded um, I usually get them to you same day if not the next day okay um, so go ahead book it down below in the description box through my website and Let's get into it, Sag. Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius, please. July 20th to the 26th. Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius, July 20th to the 26th. Let me see for Sagittarius, July 20th to the 26th. They're showing me one of those whales with um, that horn. That's not really a horn. I know it's not. Um, I know that it's made out of... Um, Oh my gosh, what is that? The same thing our nails and hair are made out of, and I can't think of the word right now. That's the nerd in me, guys. I'm a bio major, sorry. It's the nerd in me. Well, I was a bio major. We graduated. We done. All right, let's, let's see what's going on. What do we got for Sag? Why are they showing me that? clairvoyance some of you are going to be hearing wow whales okay whale whale people got you so some of you are going to start hearing different frequencies some of you if you're getting a lot of ringing in your ear just let your body adjust you're actually going through an energetic shift so your physical body's trying to attune to the higher frequency that your consciousness is going into some of you are like what the f is this chick talking about right now um you will know what i'm talking about if it's meant for you okay you will know what i'm talking about so let's see what's going on show me what i need to see for sad july 20th to the 26th yeah, I keep hearing out to sea. Some of you are definitely starting a brand new cycle, going into a new venture. It's I'm hearing it's time for adventure. It's time to stop playing it so safe. Stop being so practical. Listen to your soul, your heart, your emotions, right? Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups energy. Past, present, future. Yep, past, present, future past, present, future, overall energy, the sun in reverse. Okay, I'm just going to point this out immediately. We have the emperor and the empress both in reverse on the board right next to each other, no less in the current situation with the six of pentacles, the give and the take, the balance. Oh, Lord have mercy. As soon as I touch those, I got like really sick, like, ooh. Um, overall energy, the sun in reverse. This is, this is oppression. This is oppression. That's, I'm just going to say that it's oppression. And I feel like it's actually self-inflicted. It's self-limiting beliefs getting in the way. Again, I've said this in other fire signs. This is a collective theme right now. Chiron just went direct yesterday, uh, from the day I'm recording this. So that is July 12th, um, Sunday. In recent past, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Page of Wands in reverse, and then we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so there's progress towards happiness, but the obstacle in between is finding the childlike nature, that creativity, the being playful again. Being playful again. There's a need to do that, to move towards your happiness, to, to move away. The obstacle is learning how to be playful again, because the Page of Wands is right in between both of those. Current situation, you have the Emperor and the Empress in reverse with the Six of Cups. Pentacles. This could be you and a person, a true pair, a very shadowy true pair. Emperor in reverse is someone who's very controlling. Empress in reverse is someone who's not very giving emotionally, who's very closed off. Both have the ability to create a, an incredible reality, right? Or this could be the polarities within you. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Masculine energy creates, feminine energy sustains. So if there's something you're trying to build to achieve your happiness, to achieve your sun, it's time to balance your masculine, your feminine, which is the six of pentacles, the equal give and take. It's also the balance of energy. It's a card of receiving. It's a card of being generous to others. Um, there's a need to balance those polarities or have balance restored within this connection. We'll find out more at clarifiers. Immediate future, you get 10 of pentacles, five of swords in reverse, and the four of swords. Five of swords feels like there's conflict in, in regards to this retreat, a need to retreat. So there's been conflict in regards to this long-term commitment or whatever you're trying to build, your legacy. It does feel more like inner 
the, the emperor and empress feels like you and your dualities and the ten of pentacles is what you want to build what you want to leave behind as your legacy right and there's some inner conflict going on with that with the five of swords in reverse the four of swords tells me in the immediate future you might need to take a time out to just rest recoup get a new perspective on things whoo sad wow very like kind of energy going on like very boom 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 let's get to it just tell me shoot me straight right I feel very much so you're ready for this, whatever this is that you're trying to build or create, but you don't know why there's stagnancy. I don't know either, so we're going to find out. Let's see what's going on with my Sag, please. July 20th to 26th. What do I need to see about the sun as overall energy for Sag? Show me what I need to see for Sag, July 20th to the 26th in regards to this spreadly spirit. Show me what I need to see for Sag. Again, they're showing me that whale. I don't know why the horn. And it's not a horn. I hate that I'm calling it a horn because I know the name for it. It's driving me crazy. So if you know, put it in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, the sun. You got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups going after what really makes you happy, going after what's really emotionally fulfilling. And that's why the sun's delayed. There's this hesitancy to actually go and go forth and achieve it. This made me sick in my stomach really quick. Um... There's issues with self-worth here. I'm getting sacral chakra with this, which is orange. Sacral chakra is right in your pelvic area. Okay, it's right above the roots, the second chakra. Uh, some of you, that's about creativity. It's about um, that passion, that wand energy, right? It's instinct. It's, it's a lot of self-worth too. I don't know why this is coming through. Some of you that have suffered like sexual trauma that might have made you lack confidence, that there's wound wounds that are coming up in regards to that. And you're going to be like, I thought I dealt with this and they're going to resurface. And it's just so you can final, finalize that healing and move into this new cycle. I can feel that in the heart space for a lot of you. As soon as I said that, yeah, that's what's making me sick. Um, sacral chakra. When I get sacral, it, it's always in regards to something very close to self-worth, something very close to, it's something that really gets you to the core. The sacral and the heart chakra. Let's talk about this eight of cups, what you, what you want to move away from. I feel it's really related to that. Why is the eight of cups here for my Sagittarius? Okay. They're showing me the devil in my mind's eye. We got the page of wands in reverse again, the hermit and the three of wands in reverse with the page of swords in reverse all these in reverse there's a lot of thinking what do i really want what do i really want to go after and it's almost like you're not even certain what makes you happy what you're passionate about you don't even know what that is and that's what's delaying these ships from coming in i think that you are so you so much so want to move forward right in the recent past it's like i want to move forward i want something new i want something fresh and it's it's taking that time out virgo energy with the hermit card here taking that time out to really think about what is it that I want to create? What's really going to resonate with me? Because I think some of you got so sucked into the daily life, the daily routine, that it's almost like the disconnect from yourself came. And it's like, wow, who, who am I really? Like, who am I really? Who do I really want to be? What legacy do I want to leave? And I, I like that you're finally asking those questions to yourself, wondering, like, what is my role here? What is my role? And ironically enough, the Eight of Cups in this deck is quest, right? What's my quest? What's my purpose? Let's talk about the page of wands in reverse because you have it twice now on the board in the past. Yeah, wheel of fortune. What do I want to create? Trying to figure that out. What's going to create this movement forward? What's my childlike curiosity telling me to head toward? That's going to work in my favor. This is all about getting in touch with what... Yeah, wow. And there's that ten of swords in reverse. And as I'm holding this, literally my sacral chakra is starting to spin and hurt. This, A lot of this is going to be very long gone trauma that's going to resurface. And you're going to be like, why am I thinking about this? You are not alone. I promise you this, okay? You are not alone. You've, you've probably already been feeling this, to be quite honest. I'm right there with you. Just to be transparent, I woke up this morning and was like, damn, I still haven't accepted the fact of my epilepsy and ms right i like i have days you guys are not alone so don't think that us readers are on a high horse by any means this is a theme collectively we are all going through this there's a need to accept things that we haven't accepted that we might know for years right like let's say your parents got divorced and it's like i'm not mad at that parent anymore for cheating on the other parent 
be honest with yourself. Is that still, is that still a blockage? Is there still forgiveness that truly needs to happen? Right? This is going to be some heavy stuff. It is. It's going to be heavy stuff and it's, we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it together. So let's talk about the nine of cups. I feel that a lot of you have already been feeling this, especially when it's in the past position. Yeah. Empress. Beautiful. I like this. You're realizing it's time for me to claim the Empress energy. I mean, it's time for me to find my emotional happiness. It's time for me to head toward that. I don't think this was achieved. The Nine of Cups in the recent past with the Empress in the recent past. I think this was the aha moment. It's time to do what makes me happy. A lot of you left a job. Yep, Hierophant. It's all about your soul's purpose. It's all about your path. It's all about what calls you on a very deep emotional level. A lot of spirituality here. This was a level up in your consciousness as well. Some of you definitely getting clear audience ringing in the ears certain words no hot damn <laughs> okay let's talk about the emperor i want to see what's up with this emperor the emperor and the empress don't feel bad it just feels like a disconnect there's just like a, this feels very inner it feels just like polarities so i want to talk about the emperor why is the emperor here it's like a block in the creativity why is the emperor here? Yeah, eight of wands in reverse. The lack of movement forward. With the knight of swords and the so yeah. What do I want to head towards? What do I want to head towards? What do I want to put my energy into? There's a lack of knowing what do I want to build? What do I want to create? What's the legacy I want to leave behind? Whoever this emperor is, or if it's your polarity in you, there's a need to release control about how this is going to work, what form it's going to take, right? Surrender to it and just follow your intuition and take those steps. Get out of the practicality. I, I feel very much so it's time to stop being so practical. Just go with the flow. Follow your intuition. Let's talk about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? You know, have all these cards just popping out in the weirdest ways. Three of cups in reverse, seven of wands, king of swords, lovers in reverse, and four of wands, which is the card that popped out and I put back in the deck. So it came out twice here. So you have the four of wands with the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy with the lovers card there. Um, I don't think it's a love connection. I very much so think it's your own polarity because the lovers is about a decision. It's what do I want? What do I want to build? What's my four of wands? What's my commitment? What's my legacy? What is it that I want long term? Right? It's trying and get out of your head. Get out of your head and listen to your soul. Three of cups with the king of swords. Very analytical, right? Not listening to the heart space, not listening to the soul tribe, friends and family around you, right? Being very guarded, being very defensive. No, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this way because it's practical, practical and it makes sense and I think I can build it. Okay, but what makes you happy? Do you think that that practicality is going to make you happy, right? Um, like think about that. Do you, do you really have to open a business at nine and close it at five? Or would your day be a lot better if you maybe opened at 10 and closed at seven? You don't have to do things by the book all the time. You don't. And I feel like there is, well, this is just how it's done. This is how it has to be. And this is how it's going to work for me. Well, what if that's not how it's meant for you? There's a need to kind of question your why. Why are you doing it this way? Do you think there's a way that would make you happier? Whether or not you think it's more productive, would it be more fulfilling? Because if it's more fulfilling, you're going to work from a higher place of gratitude and love, and it's going to manifest in a more abundant form. Let's talk about the Six of Pentacles. Two of Swords and the Six of Wands in reverse. The Crossroads. Do I want to, is this really going to be successful? Is it not, right? The give and take of energy. This six of pentacles and the six of wands, two sixes, both indicative of balance. And there's a decision that needs to be made here about what do you want to give to? Are you open to receiving this? This is way too practical. Please stop being so practical because it's almost like, well, if I put energy in here, it's going to be successful. And the two of swords with the six of wands in reverse tells me that it might not be. It might not be because there's a need to work from a place that resonates with you on a soul level not just monetary not just monetary i don't like the six of wands in reverse i want one more on this 
Why is the six of wands? Yeah, eight of swords. You're way too in your head. I could feel it. Way too in your head. Stop overthinking. Get into the heart space because that's where this blockage is coming from. And you're literally evolving into the empress. That's someone who's Venusian, ruled by Venus, Taurus, Libra energy there. Um, you need to get into that. I want to look at this five of swords in the immediate future, what this inner conflict is. About the new beginning and how to start that, how to build that foundation, right? You're gonna learn that okay, I might need to start this project over. Because for some of you, I feel I think that you've already been working on whatever this is, and you're gonna be like, well, damn, okay, well, we're gonna have to start from scratch. I'm gonna have to restructure things, I'm gonna have to rebuild them, I'm gonna have to look at this in a different light in order to build something that's more not only emotionally fulfilling, that speaks to my soul, that speaks to my intuition, because wands are all about instinct, it's all about pleasure, it's all about passion, right? And this is practicality. So you are tapping into that. I wish there were some damn cups here though because I'd love to see your heart in it. So tell me a few more about this Five of Swords. Can I have more on the Five of Swords in reverse, please? Of course, they all fall on the floor. Yeah, Five of Wands, the Moon, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse again. You need to open to receiving. The Five of Wands, the card of competition. This is someone who just kind of accepts defeat. I'm not gonna fight for it. I'm not gonna be open to it. I don't know why. There's a lot of back and forth here within your energy. So let's look at the Four of Swords, the rest you're taking in the immediate future. I wanna see what you're thinking about. And I think it's because you realize you need to start this from scratch. Because this Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Moon feels like the cause of, oh, I might need to redo this. I might need to restructure this. That confusion, the lack of why isn't this working? Because the Five of Swords is also a part of defeat, right? So let's look at the Four of Swords. Okay, I'm not taking all of that. Let's get one more on the Four of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you. Nine of Cups in reverse and the Chariot. Yeah, you know it's time to sit back and think what's really going to be fulfilling emotionally, what's going to make me feel content, right? And once you get clarity on that, Cancer Energy with the Chariot card, you're going to be able to move forward. But this, this lack of emotional fulfillment is what's stopping this progress forward. King of Cups, Two of Wands, Seven of Swords. If some of you are, are trying to not rebuild with the King of Cups, not rebuild or move towards something that's emotionally fulfilling and loving and compassionate because you think they're deceptive. I think they're very much so genuine. They're just being very patient and it's almost like you're looking back, do I want that, do I not want that? You're taking a lot of time to think about this decision. It's gonna be different for all of you, but I think a lot of you are being a little self-deceptive if this is in regards to a King of Cups energy that you've been dealing with. I think that they're different from this King of Swords, okay? Wow, this is gorgeous, okay. And look what lands on your Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles comes when you finally take the steps to accept the transformation, accept the change, accept whatever's falling apart needs to fall apart because it's leading you towards something that serves you to your highest good. You're going from the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. Okay, so in order to overcome that conflict, you need to accept whatever's coming down, whatever's ending, whatever's changing or shifting, it has to. It has to, because it, it's leading you to the 10. It's leading you to the stability, right? So the sun in reverse, it's because you're finally realizing what your happiness is, what you love, and you're taking action toward that. And I don't think you, that you're gonna let people stand in your way, but the self-deceptive, the seven of swords energy, if that is your king of cups, your king of swords, right? It, it's time to be honest with yourself about these connections. Wow, bottom of the deck, you have the fool card. I love that. Okay, Sag, this is what I have for you. This was a little all over the place. This was very scattered, and I feel like that's kind of what your head's like right now. It's time to go for a sword, so to take some time out and see what do I want to keep and what and who do I need to release in order to step into something that's more fulfilling for myself. There needs to be a balance within you as an individual, right? Realizing that you can create and sustain whatever you, you want, right? Nothing's going to stop you other than your own mind getting in your way. So just be very mindful of that. Be open to receiving the positive. Stop letting limiting self-beliefs get in the way of that. And work on that self, that, um, 
self-worth work on that sacral chakra work on the fact that you are creative you can make anything you want really embody that okay sag this is what i have for you i hope this resonated please like share subscribe and i will see you all next time Bye bye